So basically, lads, Roy was getting on the boys for not training like three days in a row and Johnny's got a bit of a bad knee so he can't like train all the time and um, they're at the training ground and him and Harry <coughs> were just sitting on the bench just relaxing and like, icing themselves and stuff. So Roy walked over and was like, um, why aren't you lads training? Like, and, and he obviously blatantly knew why they weren't training because the manager would have told him. And they were like, oh, like can't do a few, three days in a row. And he was like, like why? He's like professional footballers, fucking shambles that is. And they both like didn't say it, and then, and Roy walked off, and then apparently he came back over again, and he was like, um, so when he's gonna train, like you know, <sighs> sick of people pulling out of injuries, like like, w what the fuck's wrong with you? And just like lads were like, listen, we've got problems. We, 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 it's just we do it at our clubs. We can't do it. And then uh, I don't know. Roy said something under his breath about Johnny or something. And walked off and Johnny lost his head, jumped off the bench, walked after him, grabbed his arm and said, what's the story, Roy? Uh, like, if you got a problem, say it to my face, don't fucking walk off. And he was like, yeah, I do have a problem. He's like, you're always fucking, you know, you're not training. Uh, you know, you're, you're getting soft, you, you know. Um, it's no wonder Deutsch doesn't play you. You're fucking always just looking for an argument like you are now. And he was like, no, nah, Roy, you're just fucking, you're the one trying to fight, like cause an argument. Apparently they were squaring up to each other and having it off and had to be pulled off each other. All the lads were grabbing Johnny away from Johnny was going to kill him. And uh, Roy brought up something about when they, when they were at Ipswich, they had like a, a falling out as well. And he was like, oh, what, you're threatening me, threatening me again, John, like you did at Ipswich. And Johnny was like, yeah, what? And you're going to be a shithouse again and just send me my fine in the post rather than saying to my face. So um, blew over for a few days and then uh, they flew out to France. And apparently Johnny just texted Roy and said, listen, Roy, I'm in room whatever uh, if you want to come up you've obviously got you know something on your mind that you know pisses you off about me do you want to come up because it's causing tension in the squad uh, let's like let's talk it out and uh, apparently Roy just rolled back and went nah I'm just here to help players and you know people like you just stay stay out of each other's way um, you don't need to reply to this message and that was that and then um, they got back from France and Harry felt his quad in training again so he, he wasn't training and um, Apparently he was getting a like a, a bit of treatment in the treatment room, and Roy walked in and he was like, "When are you gonna train, you fucking prick?" And Harry was like, "What?" And he was like, "Fucking any chance of you training?" And he explained the situation again, and Roy was just going off, going, "You're a fucking prick, you know, you're a cunt, you don't even care, you don't want to train." And Harry was just going, "Roy, I'm not speaking to you like this, like just you know, I'm not listening to you." You know, you're not the manager, so, you know, you, you can't say anything to me. Apparently Roy was just going mad, getting, like, fucking worse and worse, and Harry just got up off the treatment bed and walked back to his room, and as he was walking back to his room, Roy was just shouting down the corridor, you're a fucking prick, you're a cunt, you've been all your life. And that was it, really, lads. Didn't come to blows, but basically Roy just losing his head.